best mm. SPF number? This is such a great question because you go into that store and you can get two, four, 15, eight, 30, options, 50, options, 75, options. 100, and it's overwhelming. Yes. I tell my patients SPF 30 is a 97% UV block that's more than enough. Anything above that is really just icing on the cake. Yeah. In fact, the difference between an SPF 50 and an SPF 30 is only 1%. It's 97 to 98. And the other and just thicker, right? You, the, the higher you get, you're, it's going to be thicker. Sometimes usually? depending the formulation okay. but the interesting thing about SPF really quickly is it only tells you how much UVB you're blocking so really look for broad spectrum on the label because that means it's also blocking UVA and that's not encompassed in that SPF. Number. You should be using a shot glass full make sure you reapply especially if you're going in the water also wear your hat wear your sunglasses. Sometimes people with darker skin tones will try to skip the SPF like but don't do that. Do you give any different recommendations to individuals based on their skin tone or is it the same for everybody? Actually it's the same for everyone because darker skin tones the way we age is by creating dark spots mm -hmm. and getting more coarsening of our skin and that's all UV related. Yes. So even though you might not wrinkle as easily you'll still get the aging changes to your skin from and the you, sun. And you can still get skin cancer because that's Absolutely. a big myth. Yeah in fact that's what killed Bob Marley. Yes. So if you're ever wondering about how pigmented people can also get skin cancer certainly happens higher risk on the palms and soles. If What's you your best it. tip for a youthful face? <laughs> Just going to throw that in there. My best tip, certainly protecting your skin from the sun. There you go. Yeah. My best tip, work in a plastic surgeon's office. <laughs>